Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Forgetful. That's the player's name. And Forgetful is ranked number 22 in the... Her, his, I don't really know. In the Platinum Division that this player is in. 312 points with a record of 26 wins and 28 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northeast. That SCV wants to go around the back to mine. I do not like him doing that, so he quickly fixes that immediately. Forgetful has spawned as a Red Protoss. Forgetful is actually a random player. And so I ask any hints on the race? You know, with a smiley face with a little P. That means that I'm sticking out my tongue. I forgot to put the question mark though, but that's all right. And nothing. I, I got nothing. Forgetful is very forgetful about answering me. It's not very nice. The map is Zelnaga Caverns. Uh, not my favorite map for um, TVP because of the choke points here and here in the middle of the map. So good with the Colossus hanging out there. Never exactly sure when that is the good point to move out on this map because of the Colossus and those choke points. Oh, look at that. Good luck, have fun, and tongue stick out face back at me. Interesting reply. Gateway is on the way. It is just ahead of my barracks by about five, six seconds there. I'm actually going in for the scout here. I need to know what race you are. So I'm in the base, and I'm seeing Gateway. I'm seeing the assimilator. I'm seeing that it's a Protoss player. That's probably the most important one. And as you can see, I actually queued him up to go around the back. That was in case the player was a Zerg player and they always hide the spawning pools back here. I'm not sure why they do that. Just, just a thing that I've noticed, so I keep track of that. Getting Orbital Command up and running. Saturating the gas really late because the marine is almost out. I don't think I'm going to have 50 gas in time. No, I do not. So the reactor is going to be up just a bit late. There it goes. Orbital command is up. SCV is being trained and mule is out. Meanwhile, a zealot is being warped in. What do they call it? Yeah, warped it. They warp in zealots. I'm not exactly sure where they're warping from. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the lore, to be honest with you, of of these kind of games. The, the story's interesting and all, but yeah, I don't know where these guys are being warped in from. I assume it's ire. I could be wrong, though. Chrono Boost going down on the warp gate technology. Pretty standard there. And there's something here. There's a hidden probe. Uh, oh, it was hidden so well. Now it's out in the open. Looks like it's going to be setting up a proxy pylon. That's a, that's a good little probe there. I always hate the proxy pylons. But they always seem to work out so well for the Protoss players that I do not blame them for going for it. A nice little setup here. It's very symmetrical. Now with the pylons in the middle, gateways and cybernetics cores around the outside, four gate is up, and now the probe is going in for a scout. And what's the probe gonna see? Five marines, and that's about it. Let's see here. I believe no, he's on two. Or, or, I'm on two. Forgetful is on one. Yeah, did not see anything. I, on the other hand, saw Cybernetics Core being warped in along with the first gateway. So I definitely have a better idea of what's going on in this game better than Forgetful does. Warp gates are out. Forge is on the way. And 
stalkers are out at the proxy pylon are they going to be able to do some damage here i can't tell looking at the resources tab i just caught that i am doing a lot better job of keeping my minerals and gas low on it's about this point that i am just begging for more minerals and gas meanwhile forgetful is being forgetful about the oh no just spent it out right there getting some stalkers Three more for a total of seven, I believe. Seven stalkers plus one guarding, uh, one zealot guarding the base. Oh no, it came out to join his friends. A second proxy pylon coming out? I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. And here I go for the push. It's pretty much my standard timing for the push, seven and a half minutes. And Unfortunately, because they caught me before I made it to their base, stim pack upgrade is not done. It is so close. I usually have it timed so that by the time I get down to the base, I'll have stim pack up and running. But stim pack is not done. Now it is, but I will I use it in time? I don't know if I even caught that it was finished. But proxy pylon is down. I do see that the photon cannon is up two marauders should be plenty to take out the photon cannon and this one of course now is unpowered so forgetful did remember to cancel that and now it seems like i'm going for push here maybe i'm just going to try to prevent the expansion where are these guys queued up to go it is hard to say but they are both orange that is not good my macro did slip for a little bit there. Oh, it's still pretty slippy right now. So I'm going to be going for an expansion while I make sure that Forgetful does not have the expansion. Still only have three racks up. I should probably think about getting more, especially now that my expansion is on the way. I am researching the weapons upgrade, and in I come into the base. Stimpak is going up. Stalker's trying to kite them, trying to get back behind the photon cannons. I don't know if I agree with that. Maybe you want to hold them off here, wait for the photon cannons to actually finish, and then let me in. It would be more effective than letting me take pot shots at photon cannons beforehand. Stalkers are not going to be able to finish it off here. Still have four marauders left. Should be in here doing damage to the probes, but honestly, I feel like the game's over, so I'm kind of like, why even bother? So here I go, trying to kite the, the probes again. I'm actually doing a decent job, I'll say. Could be a lot better. But I am able to take out a lot of probes, down to just 25. And here come reinforcements. Those three zealots are not going to be able to finish the job. I am kiting them. Oh, I did just mess up a little bit there. And there goes Forgetful. And there goes the last of the zealots. And that's the game. So that was an interesting game. Uh, I've never seen really what turned out to be a proxy pylon with units around it. Followed by a proxy, another proxy pylon up top with photon cannons. I, I've never seen that before. It didn't work. I don't know if it's effective or not. But my three racks definitely, definitely won that for me. It was the build apparently that I should have gone for, for in order to, to win that game. Once again, macro falling apart at the end of the game because I assume that the game's over. I'm still producing, though. I'm still producing the, the Marines and Marauders, so I'm still getting the army up. Should be producing about as fast as this 4-gate is. But um, if you know if this was going to be a longer game, of course you would want those numbers to be way down. Way, way, way down. But that was a relatively quick game, but an interesting strategy that turned out not to work out well for the Protoss player. Let me know what you guys think about it, because, uh, you know, I've definitely never seen it before. I do want, eventually, to go into Protoss play, because, just for nostalgia's sake, if anything else, because I used to play them all the time. They were my race in StarCraft 1. But it didn't look like that. it was that effective a strategy to me. 
I don't know exactly. Maybe if uh, I allowed three or four cannons to go out before I moved, or f photon cannons to be warped in all the way before I started to move out, that would have been effective, but maybe my push uh, made that impossible. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.